I've seen several comments on um, a post about people questioning what size decals to make for the shirts. Um, because obviously if you make both babies, toddlers, youth, and adult shirts, um, the size decal is definitely going to make a difference. Um, obviously you're not going to want to put a 3 inch decal on an adult shirt because that would look ridiculously small, but putting it on a baby shirt it might be too big. So there's a way to determine what size decal to use for um, <clears throat> for the shirt that you're using and you can find that um, you can find a template within Cricut Design Space and to do that you're going to want to go to templates on the left hand side here and then choose fashion and that's going to bring up a shirt template and I usually just click the classic shirts. Um, you can click um, different options here. Pajamas, maternity shirts, um, hoodies. So depending on what size template you're making. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find that classic shirt again. There it is. And there's defaults in here where you can choose your different sizes. Um, kids small, medium, large. So I have a um, size 18 to 24 month toddler shirt. So I'm going to want to go to custom and I have a measuring tape here with me. I am going to measure my shirt real quick. Okay and it is 15 inches long so I'm going to change the height to 15 inches. And then when I do that, it automatically change, changes the width to 18, which is you know, going to be a normal size, um, the average size for what you're using. And as you can see, my last decal I printed was huge. Um, this would take over the entire shirt. I must have made an adult decal with that. So I'm just going to want to size it down. And that's still really big. That looks better. Um, so you're going to want to try to look at it, gauge it yourself, um, but these templates definitely help um, show you about what size decal you're going to be making. And then you can see right here it's going to show you 2.6 inches by 2.5. So then if you have your shirt in front of you, you can take your measuring tape out again. and just kind of gauge it and see if that's too big or too small or um, or whatever. So that is my tutorial on that. Um, of course after you cut out your design before you layer it onto your shirt you're going to just want to make sure 100 percent sure that it is a correct design um, or it is the correct size. If for some reason it's not and you made your decal too small, too big, do not trash the decal. Um, chances are you can make it for a different shirt, um, whether you're doing this as a business or um, if you're just doing it for fun. You can always use that decal on something else. So I hope you liked my tutorial and please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.